Magundung Arau, Maayong Arlao, good day. Ladies and gentlemen, my respected colleagues, my friends, I feel grateful, I feel blessed, but most of all, I feel thankful to be here with you at this convention of the Philippine Association of Water Districts. Do you want to know why? Last year, I spoke at this same convention in Pasay, Philippines to ask you for your help and advice. I asked you to participate in a nationwide survey about how water system operators are trained in the Philippines. After asking for this help, so many of you answered the call to action. In fact, the survey had a 20% response rate, which provided more than enough responses to make the survey results statistically valid. This made the survey incredibly valuable and useful in the effort to further develop the Philippine water sector. So please accept my most sincere thanks. Salamat po daghang salamat for all of your help and encouragement. As a result of this survey, I am very happy to report that a coalition of organizations have joined forces to advance the Philippine water sector in a very significant and fundamental way in both the near and long term. That is, to develop a national training strategy and a certification program for water system operators. As background, this project was first initiated to recruit American organizations to commit resources to the Philippine water sector. Through this work, I was given the opportunity to meet Administrator Jesse Lapus of the Local Water Utilities Administration, and he was kind enough to speak with me about my volunteer work. I left that meeting with the impression of a leader with a clear vision of bringing safe, reliable drinking water to all Filipinos, even deep into the rural provinces. About a month after my meeting with the administrator, he made a major announcement about an initiative to improve the water quality and drinking water supplies throughout the Philippines. The administrator said, safe water is life and access to it is the right of every Filipino. Well, that was enough for us and we got to work. First, a meeting was coordinated with high level management of the American Water Works Association to discuss ideas of how to support the administrator's plan. The general consensus of the meeting was that AWWA wanted to help but needed more information on how. This led us to contact Director Tora Gamboa of the Mighty Lod Water Academy, who originally introduced me to the administrator. Director Gamboa described her prior work in exploring the idea of establishing a water system operator certification program in the Philippines, as well as associated training programs. The resulting collaboration led to the nationwide survey of water districts. Questions were developed and circulated for input to the Mighty Lad Water Academy, the American Water Works Association, as well as the U.S. Embassy in Manila and the University of San Carlos in Cebu. The nationwide survey had two key findings. First, the survey indicated that a larger pool of qualified water system operators are needed right now. Over 60% of the water districts surveyed found recruitment of water system operators as difficult or very difficult. This means that as existing water systems expand to accommodate growth and entirely new water systems are constructed in the future, the effort to recruit qualified water system operators will only continue to get even more difficult. So there is a need right now to start developing a pool of qualified water system operators. To build this capacity effectively, a national training strategy needs to be developed and implemented. One way to organize and institutionalize a national training strategy is to implement a water system operator certification program. Certification will also make the investment in training highly verifiable. This leads us to the second finding of the survey, and that is there is overwhelming support 
by the Water District General Managers for a national certification program for water system operators. The general managers also estimate that their customers, regulators, and employees will support the program as well. Certification will also professionalize the water system operator field. This happens because of the serious effort needed to earn and maintain certification. Upon completion of the survey, Mr. David LaFrance, who is the Chief Executive Officer of the American Water Works Association, invited both Administrator Jesse Lapousse as well as Director Dora Gamboa to attend the annual AWWA conference in Denver, Colorado, United States. And they were gracious enough to accept the invitation. This gave the executive leadership of the International Council the opportunity to meet Administrator Lapousse and Director Gamboa to discuss the results of the survey. The participants of the meeting included Mr. Natting, a young person volunteer on the International Council, Ms. Wheeler, AWWA Manager of International Programs, Dr. Jack Angelo, Chairman of the International Council, Administrator Jesse Lapousse, Mr. Anderson, Member of the International Council and former President of AWWA, Director Gamboa, myself, Mr. Labovich, Member of the International Council, and Mr. Jonat Sanal Ila of Metro Pacific Water. Others that participated in the meeting included Mr. Ray Anchetta of the World Bank. The main conclusions of the group was that more qualified operators are needed right now and even more so in the future as more water systems are built or existing water systems are expanded. To build this capacity, a national training strategy and operator certification program are needed. The action items from the meeting was to provide a summary of the survey results to the group, develop a policy level conceptual proposal, and to cooperate with one another in seeking funding. The first action item was to develop a policy level conceptual proposal. This was prepared through a highly collaborative and well-researched process. In terms of collaboration, the AWWA team proceeded with preparing the first draft of the proposal and collaborated from within the AWWA team. Once this was completed, the proposal was circulated to the original project collaborators in the Philippines. We also included Dr. Robert Chang, a colleague of mine and who is well known to the International Council, and he is not only a very experienced and well respected in our industry, he is also currently sitting on the Operator Certification Advisory Committee for the State of California. Our research included a literature review, as well as speaking with other pertinent organizations for input, namely the California Department of Water Resources Apprenticeship Program and a cloud-based learning management system provider. Once the policy level conceptual proposal was completed, several outreach trips were made. These trips included attending the 46th anniversary of the local Water Utilities Administration, meeting with staff of the World Bank in Taguig, Philippines, as well as meeting staff at Asian Development Bank in Mandaluyong City, and finally back to Denver, Colorado to meet with the AWWA International Council. The seated person on your right in the white shirt is Mr. David LaFrance, the Chief Executive Officer of AWWA. The person standing in the center is the immediate past president of AWWA. The person seated on your left in black is Miss Jennifer Serra, who is the chief of the water sector group at World Bank. I am happy to report that AWWA has prepared a letter addressed to POWD to state their support for this project. So here is the conceptual proposal for a national training strategy. First, the survey indicated that the two most common training methods were on-the-job training and off-site training seminars. Building from this, the proposed national training strategy is to support on-the-job training with regional training centers. The idea is to locate regional training centers 
so that travel costs will be minimized, which is an important consideration identified in the survey. We envision that these training centers will be staffed with instructors with very pragmatic, hands-on experience. We need these instructors to be expert in the actual tasks that the operators are expected to do. We also need these training centers to be equipped with the same kind of equipment that are used within the region. This will provide a direct support to the water district operations and their on-the-job training efforts. We envision that the centers will provide detailed training that supports advancement towards operator certification and will also be used for periodic detailed training that may be required by the certification program, perhaps on a five-year time cycle. The survey also found that online training was the least used training method. So we concluded that the online training must be re-engineered to address the concerns of the water districts. This re-engineering is to use currently available cloud-based learning management systems, which provides numerous other benefits above a simple online training class. These benefits include storing knowledge products in the cloud so that they can be accessed by all certified operators nationwide these knowledge products include videos of lessons from the regional training centers, step-by-step -step procedures, best practices, calculation tools such as Davidson Pi, and other similar useful knowledge products for use in the field. The other aspect of the cloud-based learning management system is that it can address the need for knowledge retention in operators through annual training. This annual training will be offered online and will include a proctor feature to verify testing at the end of each course. We anticipate that through observing the testing as well as observing the use of the knowledge products from the cloud, that this cost-effective training method will gain more support by the Water District General Managers. Another feature of this portal is that it can be used by water districts to recruit operators. Also, the collaboration features associated with online training may also be used in responding to calamities. And finally, the portal could be used by individuals that are considering a career in water system operations through taking introductory courses and participating in aptitude testing. A national certification program will be an excellent tool to organize and implement the training strategy in a highly verifiable way. The components of the program includes first classifying systems from simple to most complex, then establishing matching operator certification levels with the chief operators requiring a certification that matches the system classification. Shift operators may have a lower certification but must be supervised by the chief operator. Certification requirement is the element that drives training. We envision that operators will need to complete specific training, gain a certain level of on-the-job experience in order to gain access to the certification test. Also, operators will need to maintain their knowledge through annual training, coupled with testing to confirm understanding and knowledge retention. And finally, it's important to have governance and guidance of the program through establishing an advisory council or committee with members that represent all of the stakeholders in the water sector. We have a number of next steps that are designed to maintain momentum and ultimately bring the project to fruition, many of which are already underway. First, we will update all of the project collaborators, which is a growing list, and seek their formal support. For the project. Next, we will give this presentation at this conference. Next, we will complete a survey of all 50 operator certification programs in the United States. We hope to use this information to help us size the Philippine program. Next, we will prepare a concise project description and an order of magnitude cost estimate for use in pursuing funding. Next, 
Director Dora Gamboa of the Minilad Water Academy and I will co-author a paper about this overall project and will publish it in the AWWA Journal. Next, AWWA will issue special VIP invitations to project partners to the AWWA Annual Convention in 2020. Finally, we will pursue funding opportunities for the project together. My respected colleagues, Salamat Pol for your kind attention. If you have any comments, please email me. Also, please see the link to the summary video of the survey results. Thanks again, and I wish you, your family, and your community the very best.